Welcome to a new Draw My Life video! <laughs> Halloween is coming! The most terrifying night of the year is around the corner and we love it! So, we've decided to have a special list of terror videos during this week to celebrate this date. The term Halloween comes from the English expression All Hallows' Eve, and its origin is linked to the Celtic commemoration of Samhain and the Christian festivity of All Saints. The concept of Halloween has evolved a lot throughout history. Traditions have been changing and new elements have appeared along the way. When we think of Halloween, our head fills up with horror symbols and characters. One of the most famous are carved pumpkins. We're going to be talking about this today. This video will have two parts. In the first one, we will tell you all the story behind Halloween pumpkins, and in the second one, we will make a tutorial of how to carve one with Tick and Tack's faces, our mascots, that's their name. Yup, you've heard right, we're going to the DIY. Even though it seems difficult to believe, originally Halloween pumpkins were not pumpkins. All around Ireland and the UK, where this custom comes from, there was this old tradition of carving lanterns with vegetables, mainly turnip and beetroot. There is an old Irish folklore tale that tells the story of Stingy Jack, a mean but clever farmer who, with the help of a cross, used his cunning to deceive the devil and capture him. There are several versions of why he tricked him or how he did it, but they all have something in common. When Jack died, he couldn't go neither to heaven nor hell. Jack remained wandering in the eternal darkness, lighting his way with an ember from hell he had put into an empty turnip to create his lantern. Jack-o'-lantern is the name of this carved pumpkins in honor to the farmer. In the British Islands, people started creating their own versions of the jack-o'-lanterns, carving gloomy faces in vegetables, which were later placed over graves to light the way back to the world of the living for their loved ones who had passed away, during the night of October 31st. They also placed them in their houses to protect them from stingy jack and the bad spirits. When Irish people went to the US, they realized turnips and beetroots weren't as abundant as in their country, but there were lots of pumpkins, which turned out to be perfect to create lanterns. And so the tradition started changing, and carved pumpkins with the face of jack-o'-lantern started becoming very popular all around the US, and from there to the entire world. And now, let's start with our tutorial on how to carve tick and tack pumpkins. Are you ready? It's the first time we do something like this, so we don't really know what we're doing. We hope you understand. The first thing to do when making a tutorial is listing the materials. So, let's go for it! In materials. Obviously, we will need a pumpkin. Well, actually two, one for tick and one for tack. We will also use tools to carve. We have got this pumpkin set, but you can also manage with whatever you have at home. When we're doing crafts, it's always important to have scissors and, of course, duct tape. Since we don't really know what the result of this carving set will be like, we have also got a knife and, of course, a marker to mark with. And last but not least, the templates of tick and tack spaces. You can go to the link in the description box to get them. And that's all for materials. Now, finally, let's go for it! Here is the pumpkin. The first thing we're gonna do is this mark and tick and tax faces to shape them later on. There are two ways of doing this. One is cutting the template and sticking it to the pumpkin with the duct tape. Once the template is fixed, we start making the shapes with a punch. This pumpkin is quite soft and doing it was pretty easy. This is what it looks like with all the little holes. We can already see tick perfectly. If you feel confident enough drawing, instead of fixing the template, you can draw the face yourself in the pumpkin. Any marker will do. We're gonna use this one made of liquid chalk. Just in case we mess up, we can easily erase it. This is what tag would look like. Pretty cool, huh? We already have our tick and tag ready to be emptied. Let's open the pumpkin from the top as if making a cover. We will use this little sauce we have in the set and a knife to help. Surprise, surprise! They got better than we'd expected. So, great, we've got it! There are lots of seeds, we'll eat them later. Now, time to empty, empty and keep emptying. 
It is a lot better if you have a metal spoon. Easier. We don't have one. It is a bit tiresome, but we hope the result is worth it. Very, very important. If you are young, all tasks that imply using sharp tools, always do them with an adult. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Untaxed pumpkin would be done. We have emptied ticks without recording it, but following the same process. Now, let's cut the shades with this sewing thingy that's working really well. It's not too hard, see? Since it's made of liquid chalk, we can erase it very easily. The mouth, the eyes, and last, the eyebrows. And it's done! Now, it's turn for tick. Same process again, taking all the parts out. The eyes, the chubby cheeks. Done! Looks pretty adorable. We already have both pumpkins carved, emptied, and with their respective covers. Now, time for the final step. To do this, we can use candles or a LED lamp. We are using candles, being very careful and with the help of an adult. We put the candles inside the pumpkins and light them. Lights off, and wow, they look great! Look how cool! Hopefully, you'll make them as well at home. If you do, don't forget to send us your pictures through social networks. Find the links in the description. See ya! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!